Hey everyone, this is Mr. Dunkel. Today we're going to be using a program called Easily. It's easel, like a painting easel, with a dot .ly. So just go to www.easel.ly. Now when you go to Easily, you're going to need to sign up. The sign up button's up here on the right. When you click on that, it's going to ask you for an email password and to confirm your password. Just use your school email address and then use your password uh, that you use here at school and confirm with your password. Now, in my case, I've already signed up, so I'm going to go to log in and I'm going to log in. Now, when you get to easily, you're going to see that we have a bunch of templates. You can start fresh and do it all by yourself, but it's easier to just use a template that's already been created. So today you're going to be creating a document where you have a person and then you're going to talk about traits of that person of a leader. So I'm going to look for a template that has a person. Now, in this case, there's too many graphics. I'm going to try to find one that's maybe got more text surrounding a person. So here's another one. That one's OK up here. Uh, if I go down a little farther, here's one that I like. It's called Deadliest Warrior. And so I'm going to click on that, and we have a soldier, and then we have all these great things that are already made. So all we have to do is go in and change them. Now, in order to change something, uh, you just simply click on it or double-click on it if it's text so that you can get in and change the text. So instead of Deadliest Warrior, I'm going to call it Leadership Qualities, and I'm going to click outside of it. Now you notice that leadership qualities goes over the top of this other text. So I could grab this bottom text and move it, or I could just hit the delete key or the trash can and make it go away. Now I want my leadership qualities to be on one line, uh, but you notice that they're on two. And I've got a little drag box here, but I can't see the one over on the right. Uh, so a couple things I could do here. One, I could just take it on the left and drag it farther till it uh, is all in one line and then drag the whole section to the right. But you'll notice when I do that, it's still hidden. And the reason it's hidden is because this is a picture and this picture is over the top of that text. So if I want this text on the top, all I have to do is click on the text, come up here to position and I could bring it forward, which will bring it forward one step or I could send it backwards or I can bring it all the way to the front. So I'm going to do bring to front and click on this and you'll notice now it's in front of the picture so I can see the rest of the words. Now these other things I don't need. So I'm going to get rid of these pictures like an epaulette. And we have some lines here I'm not necessarily going to use. I just kind of want the lines that are going to a title and a area that you can do text. So in your case, you're going to be typing traits of a leader and then you're going to define that trait in your own words, and then you're going to defend why that trait is important. So in this case, I'm going to come in here and I want to change musket to honesty because honesty is a good trait for a leader to have. So I do that and here I have honesty. Now, when I get in here and I want to change my definition, I'm just going to highlight this and I'm going to put a definition in my own words. I'll just say honesty is always being truthful even when it isn't popular to do so. Because sometimes you're honest and it's not necessarily uh, going to make people like you more for being honest, but you feel you have to be honest. Okay, so this is my definition. You need to come up with yours. When I click out, you'll notice it's, it's got it here. Now, in this template, this works out pretty well because the template's already blue, and your instructions tell you that we want the definition blue. We also want it to be bold, so I need to come up here and make it bold. Now, I'm going to drag that up just a little bit. Now, the next thing I need to do is add my defense of why I think honesty is important for a leader. Now, for that, we want you to have red text. Now, a variety of ways you could add it. I could come up here and click text and then grab the body text and drag this down. And here it is. And then I could drag it over and start typing. But here's a better way that's probably a little quicker as well. Uh, since I already have this text right here, I can simply click on it and then come to the clone tool right here and click on that. And now it has cloned that text box and I can drag that down right below it. Now I want this to be red. So I'm gonna to go to the color picker and change it to red and I want it to be italicized. So I'm gonna click on the italics part. So now all I have to do is simply click in here and change why honesty is important. A leader should always be honest because if others do not 
trust her, then they will not follow her. So that's my defense of why it's important to be honest. So I just simply click out and now I have my defense in red and italicized. And so I would simply repeat that process for the other traits. Now notice that I have a, um, a little bar here, a little call out that was already here as part of the template. Now, if I'm talking about honesty, to me, honesty is um, something from the heart, so to speak. And so I may want this line coming up to the heart area. There's one over here for code already, so I could have done it over here. But let me show you how you can rotate this. Unlike PowerPoint or other programs where you can just grab the end and change the end, on this one, you have to put your cursor over the little handle. Notice this has a handle coming out of the middle. When you put it on the handle, you get a plus sign. And you just simply rotate that however you want it. And then I can come up here and grab it and move it just a bit. You also have a couple other features that you need to be aware of that are uh, fun to add. Uh, you can come up here to objects and add objects to your um, document. You also have shapes as well. You can come here to shapes and go through several pages of shapes. Now, in this case, I'm going to go to objects and you can pull this down and you'll see all sorts of different categories you can go into. I know what I want, so I'm going to search for the word heart, hit enter, and lo and behold, here's a heart. So all I do is just drag that down. When I release it, it's way too big, so I'm just going to click on it, grab the corner, scale it down a bit, and then move it over here to about where the heart is. So just understand that you have a variety of different shapes and text things that you can add. Uh, it's very easy to just click on these and change them. You can use the clone tool to add more tools. Remember, you are going to need to add a quote, and you should add the quote down at the bottom. So for that, you may want to click on text, maybe do like title text or header text. Title will be the biggest, header will be the next biggest kind of thing. And you can come down here and add your quote about leadership. And I misspelled quote. There we go. And again, you can click on that and you can change the color, you can change the font, you can change the font size. Now, once you have everything the way that you want it, you simply come up here to save and it's going to ask you to name your visual and just call it leadership qualities and click save. It's going to take it a moment to save. Now you can go back to the home page. It's going to say leave the creation tool. And when you leave and it takes you back to the home page, you will see your leadership um, document that you created there. So for your second document, you will simply open that one back up, go to save and give it a different name like real leader. and then click Save. And when you go back home, you'll notice now you have two. You got Leadership Qualities and Real Leader. And so you can go into Real Leader and I'll do a different video on how to create that one. So if you have any questions, as always, feel free to ask.